Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. So today I was doing an oil change on my Info 4 Single Turbo 335 and I realized I haven't even gone back and I just noticed there's some requests stating that they want to see like a review on my On3 kit. Especially since I've been running it for about 20,000 miles or so. And yeah, so far it's been a blast to drive. So uh, putting in some Moto X Clean 5W40 oil inside and that stuff is... I like it. So it's been running pretty smooth and no oil consumption. Uh, motor's running quiet and all that good stuff. So I bought the On3 Turbo Kit back in January 2018. So no sponsorship, uh, all my cold hard cash went to buying it myself. So pretty much gonna be unbiased review. So the first thing I wanna say is about the shipping. The shipping was incredibly fast. It came within like five days and I believe it was coming from like Ohio or somewhere up north. So that was pretty quick. A fresh package here, ready for shipment to our lovely customer. You got it, boss. And parts came in, the manifold looked great, all that other good stuff. I wish I had taken a video of it, but I was like so excited. I was like, yo, I need to get my car up and running. Darn comfort access. So uh, yeah, so I went with the top mount V-band and with a 61 millimeter GT35 journal bearing uh, turbo upgrade that they have on it. I didn't get the intercooler or the charge pipe, so pretty much just the, uh, oh yeah, and no blow off valve, I got that myself. So pretty much I went ahead and got the hot side parts plus the turbo plus the wastegate. And that's about it. The install went smoothly. I didn't have much issue with it. Uh, everything pieced together well. The main thing is that everything fit the way it's supposed to. Like you put the stuff on and it fit. You didn't have to hack up anything or anything of the sort. The only thing that I had to change out was the, what's it called? The oil drain off the turbo that fit in. I had to change it out. So I ordered like a fit in off of eBay for like five bucks or so. And it needed to be a little bit longer. Cut away the one that came with it. If you use it, you weren't able to clock the turbo uh, correctly. So I believe that was upgraded in the subsequent kits that's coming out right now. So you don't have to worry about that. Also, the oil drain hose was like incredibly strong and durable. And that's a good thing. But the thing is, it was hard as heck to put it onto the drain bolt, the drain uh, fit in. So I went ahead and tried to grease it up, uh, put it in hot water, try to expand it out and put it on there. No, none of that will work. So I had to go to, what was it? Napa and get a uh, hose for it. Also, please make sure if you do do that, go ahead and make sure you get a hose that is rated for oil. <laughs> if you do anything else, it's gonna go ahead and burn the fit in like within a couple miles of driving the car and you have oil leaking everywhere. The one thing that I had an issue or a complaint with would be the turbo housing in which the material is kind of soft. So I've taken the turbo housing off a bunch of times and the screw holes have gotten a little bit wobbly like some of them so I had to go ahead and use uh, uh, some bigger screws to tighten down the housing when I put the turbo back together. The issue caused by me all this one because initially I kind of hulked the bolt down so it stripped it a little bit so I had to use those bigger uh, bolts to keep it in. So it's soft but I think if you don't hulk it down you won't ever have a problem or this would never have come up but yeah. That's just one thing I wanted to be, bring up. So the spool is good. I'm getting full boost at around 3.8 thousand RPM. And it could be better, but just the way I've added tuned, I gotta do some like Venus changes and all that other good stuff. And don't have time, so most likely, yeah. On my next turbo setup, I'm gonna go ahead and get it working the way it's supposed to. But yeah, it could be a whole, it could spool a whole lot quicker. So using a provided wastegate that came with a kit, like some people are like super, super negative on that. Like don't use it, duh, duh, duh. So I was like, no, let me just go ahead and try it myself, see what happens. Something breaks, I could fix it. So went ahead, became a guinea pig and I tried it and guess what? It has no issues at all. But before I even put the, put the wastegate on, I went ahead and took it apart. Made sure everything was lubed up correctly. There was no friction or bent uh, valves or anything like that. The diaphragm was uh, within the enclosure and not pinched or anything like that. So once I put it on, I have not had any boost issues, boost creeps, nothing of the sort. But then again, if I use the Tile or Turbo Smart blow off valve or wastegate, I would do the same thing too. I would go ahead and take it apart, check everything and make sure it goes on. So even those are susceptible to failure too. But you just gotta do your due diligence. So I'm not having issues with the kit itself. There's mainly things that's outside the kit, such as like fuel injectors, there's normal stuff, 
uh, coil packs, change those out. So little stuff like that, you know, typical Entity 4 stuff, so it's nothing really serious. But all in all, I recommend this kit if I was to ever go ahead and buy another Entity 4 powered car. Uh, it's great value for what it is and gets you into the single turbo realm real easily. Because I would have went twin turbo again, but the main thing is I just hate the install of that and when there's issues that arise, yeah, I really don't like taking half my whole day just to fix an issue with a turbo. Especially one of those turbo cooler lines leak or something, or one of them things leaks, it's a pain. So that's the main reason I went single turbo, is not really to run big turbo um, power or anything like that. It's mainly for ease of maintenance. 